What's up, YouTube? It's Vic, and I got Wendy with me here today, and we are going to. I'm just going to go see this place at a uh, at a towing place. Um, uh, what is it? A guy? He was a, a tow truck driver that towed one of my cars. He told me about this place that he works at. They got some cars. They got some cars for sale, and. Um, I'm fixing to go over there and take a, we just fixing to go over there and take a ride by. And I'm also gonna go be looking at, um, checking out a few places, some mobile homes, cause I'm trying to also find a mobile home right now that I can flip. Um, we gonna go be doing that and take y'all along on the ride. Um, we'll be there in a the minute. magic carpet ride. Yeah, we'll be there. <laughs> we'll be there in a minute and um, I'll take y'all along on the ride with me. Uh, we'll be right back. Right now, pretty much where I'm at is is I'm I'm fixing to sell the BMW and then I'm gonna take all that I got at that point and I'm gonna just go to an auction. I found a it's a it's called a IAA auction. It's a it's a it's a public auction. It's public and dealer auction. Insurance. Most of them are like insurance and then some of them are like repos, like banks and. They got some pretty good cars there, but I, I kind of been doing a lot of research and trying to figure out where I want to be at um, and what I want to like be focused on buying. And I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm focused on buying cars at a certain price, like around four, between four to $500. I want to be spending on a car and turning around and selling it for like a thousand to $1,500 um, after, after I do my work so that after I do put some work in it, so at, at that point, what I basically need to be worried about is is making sure that I can get the car at a certain price and not have to spend but a certain amount of money, but a certain amount of money on the vehicle as far as fixing it. Hopefully, I don't have to fix it at all. That's that's the the mind frame that I want to be in as far as flipping vehicles. I, I don't want to do a lot of work. I don't want to have to put a lot of money in them. I've been down that road. I ran into um a lot of uh bumps in the road dealing with those kind of deals and i'm just learning that as far as fixing cars especially when you get started out you don't want to be dealing with stuff that you got to learn a lot about and fix it on like i'm i'm really just trying to focus on on buying the car buying decent cars cleaning them up fixing little cosmetic issues and putting them back out on the market you know what I mean? And if I can if I can do that a couple times a week, that's a that's my game plan. You know, you gotta come in it, you gotta come in it with a game plan. If you ain't got no game plan, you just you just rolling the dice every time you do a deal. You rolling the dice every time if you don't have a game plan. You know, so I mean I strongly urge anybody that's trying to get into the car flipping business to get a game plan on what they want to focus on and the, and the types of flips they want to be flipping because if you don't if, if you don't do that you might as well you don't, don't want be doing. one of those to be flipping that yeah, sound like that <laughs> i can't even see like i'm dark on there right now i don't know why i was focused like that i don't even know really how it works i'm just really going down here based on what a, a tow truck driver that towed one of my cars told me and that's the place right there but um, yeah, just going off of what he told me. So we just driving down here, really, with a shot in the dark.
stuff like that is that's is that what is wrong with it only or right you're not yep. sure yeah that's it they started up and there were no brakes to focus yeah, freaking ford focus yeah it was one i just got recently from auction your, one of your guys towed it for me, but when I got it, it, it was a bad fuel pump. Oh, no. But it ended up being a bunch of other stuff, and it was ended up being a limit. Oh, you got By the time I got it running, yeah. That's a, yeah. No key. You don't know what you're going to get sometimes. Right. Um, like that, that uh, trooper right there, that Zuzu trooper, uh, four by four. Right. That one there will run and drive and everything, but when you go around a corner, it'll slip. The trans transmission will slip a little bit. But it's got one of those type of trains that you have to pump the fuel in, I mean the fluid in. You have to put it up on a rack, I guess. Right. Or get up underneath it. So it's uh, it's by, it could just be low on fuel? fluid? Yeah, because the mileage on that, it's not bad. I mean, it's got low miles, but uh, that's the only thing we can figure, you know, it's probably wrong with it. What about this Toyota Camry and like that Honda right there? Uh, both of these Hondas. Um, I almost got somebody's baby seat in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, both those are probably good. They're running cars. Yeah, ice cold air. So let me check that one out and see the one. Yeah, ice cold air. Okay. Clean. I think Camry, this was also a good car. Somebody had financed it and they got it towed in here. Repo. Repo. Yeah, I think it was. Uh, they just leave it on y'all? No, we uh, they call us. And come get it, you know. Or they get arrested or something like that. And we, we contact the, uh, you know, the dealer, you know, who they had a finance with. We sent them out letters and everything else. They just. Sometimes it's not worth for them to come right. down, you know. The car ain't worth it. Yeah, they just write it off. And, uh, so something like this or one of these, what would y'all want for that? I don't, I mean, you'd have to get off. Any, anything running, he sells to the public. Anything that runs, no matter what kind of condition, usually 800 to $1,000 running or you drive, you know. Um, what, he, what he usually does, you know, like that. You know, some people like if you buy like three or four cars, they'll do a better deal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's probably what I would be interested in doing. I mean, if I could get a good deal on them, I would probably be willing to come spend a good amount. I got that, I got cars. that expedition right there, eighty dollars expedition. Uh huh. That's an old three, but he wants like eighteen hundred for that. And it's running. Yeah. Runs and drives. Yeah, I still got. Yeah, high miles. That still ain't bad though for, for, yeah. We just sold a Ford F-150 truck. Well, it was our truck. And it had almost 400,000 miles on it and still ran and drove. Yeah, you take, you take care of it, it yeah great. That's what people don't understand. Just keep the oil change in the car. You know, and just don't, you know. Right. To the ground, it'll last you. Right. Headlight. Uh, that one I don't know about. We got that in the oh, last month. Parked back here. I oh. try to look for like alternator. Oh, alternator. Yeah, I'm glad the market windshield's not that It's a nice car. What about something like this? You don't. Oh, you said I got to make an offer. Yeah. I can do that. Let's go get a piece of paper real quick. Um, you want to go run your head? Yeah. Here. Yeah, no brakes. That one there actually has low miles on it. What year is it, you know? I think it's 2008. It's a newer one, yeah. Well, he don't know why there's no brakes. He's just saying there's no brakes. Like, if it ain't old. It could be black metal against metal on these pads or something like that. It could have a busted line. Yeah. That might be, if he has no brakes, it probably has a broken Yeah, because that's what was one of the issues on what I had was a broken. Black Honda. Yeah. Write the number. What number? That's not a number right there. Yeah, but what is? Oh, the last four of the VIN. Okay. Oh yeah, five nine one nine. That's the last four of the VIN.
that's the only thing wrong with it. There ain't nothing written on the windshield. PP mean? They had to get a for Oh, okay. That don't run? Uh, probably does. It's just, it says there's no key. They had one, mate? Seven six four zero four. Six four zero four. What? Yeah, the guy seemed pretty nice guy, but he told me that he said that he got to take. What we had to do is go in and he wanted us to give him an offer on the cars that I was interested in. So he's saying like that he has to run it by the guy that or whatever, but my, I, can tell, I can tell by the way he's talking that he's the person, you know what I mean? But I, I gave him, I, I gave him offer, I started where I felt like, because I know he gonna counter offer. So I, I started low, I mean, I lowballed him on a lot of them. But I mean, a lot of them you really can't, cause I, I don't, if you don't know what's wrong with it, I'm buying it in the dark. I ain't seen none of these cars run. I'm shooting you an offer. You know what I mean? So if he come back with anything higher than what I'm saying, then at that point he gotta he gotta show me that he like I gotta be able to see him run. Like if they're more if it, if you I'm paying more than three or five, three to five hundred dollars for a car, like I need to see what's going on. Like because now you're telling me it's more than scrap because it could be scrap. If I don't see it run, I'm buying it in the dark. It could be it could be a car that's worth scrapping. But I gave him an offer. Um, but see, what I really like, did you show the cars? Yeah. What I really like is cars like the Pontiac, that little silver Pontiac we seen. I like cars like that. Um, it's As long as I can get it at a really cheap price where I can sell it for like $1,500, I can sell that car. All, I can take all, If that car run, I can take everything out of that car, clean it up, and put that car up for sale for $1,500 right now. So, I mean, I'll be willing to pay, I'll be willing to pay $750 at the highest because I need to be able to make a certain amount of profit on, on the car. So, you know what I mean? At the highest I'll pay, I'll pay $750, but I'm trying to pay like $500. You know what I mean? But I gave him a blind bid. So, I mean, a blind bid ain't a, ain't, there's no such thing as a low ball. Right, and if he wants to get on, like, I'm pretty sure he just wants to get him out of there. Right. He do, and that's what he told us. He was like, he got, he got, um, what happens, what happens is the cars, the cars go, like, a car get towed in there for whatever reason, for repossession, broke down on the side of the road, um, somebody that went to jail because they, whatever. So, it's just somebody in a car and the car gets towed in there. So if the person never comes back to get that car after a certain amount of time, the tow yard can get rid of it. However, a lot of the times they're selling them themselves. There's, they, he, part, he put them right out here in front of his store, in front of his um, tow spot and sells the cars. They right here. This this way he sells the cars that he get. So what his problem is, and the reason why, the reason why I can get a deal 
is because his problem is space. Because cars are constantly coming in and they're not constantly being sold as fast. So he got to get rid of those cars or he ain't going to have no more space in his yard. So people like me come in there and buy those cars off of him. So he's, he's pressed he's pressed for time too because he's losing space. He needs space. So he got to come off of some of those cars. So hopefully what I'm hoping for is that I don't think he's going to say yes to all of those prices. But I, I'm pretty sure maybe one or two of them He'll probably be like, yeah, I'll give you this car for this price. But then at that point, I'm going to be more skeptical because he done broke it down and saying that he'll give me a reduced price on these two or whatever cars. I'm going to know why. Why are these so low? Like, what do y'all know about the cars? Or can I see it wrong or test drive or whatever so I can know at least what I'm getting into before I, I get it, you know? But some people, some people might let you get away with that. Some people might not. You might have to just take a shot in the dark. But even the auction, even the auction allows you to see the car run and at least drive forward and backwards. You yeah. But I don't know. I left him my offer. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait on him to see what when it come out. I might probably I'm gonna probably end up making a part two. I'm gonna probably make, end up making a part two to this video so you can see what ends up happening with that deal right there. Um, because I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get, I don't know how long it's gonna take for him to get back to me. But, oh shit, I gotta go down State Avenue because I'm fixing to go. I'm looking for any and everything these days. I'm flipping whatever we can flip. I'm looking for, uh, um, Avenue, but I know, but it's it runs this way. But we're looking for RVs. We're looking for mobile homes. Like we're looking for anything. If if, if you watching this video and you and you in our area or whatever, and you know of people that's in our area that got mobile homes for sale, RVs for sale. We flip all that. We flip all of that. So hit me up. Hit me up, and we'll. Uh, We'll figure it out because I'm, I'm looking for a good deal on pretty much anything that could be flipped. Let's see what we can find up in here. In a mobile home park. And mobile homes are considered motor not motor vehicles, but they're controlled. Oh, they're no. controlled by motor vehicles, so so therefore uh, I don't want to get my channel or my any of my stuff not I mean confused with being out of uh what do you call it like out of category out of so context. yeah well not a category like okay. out of this category so mm -hmm. i'm i'm like clarifying that we're looking at mobile homes i do also flip contracts on homes but that ain't on this channel i like the idea of the auction i don't know why though i don't know why i just feel like i just feel like Sometimes I just feel like when I'm looking at stuff like that right there, it's just so many unsureties. And when you invest your money, that's really the worst thing you can do is invest in something where you you got too much, too many questions. What? Is with the auction that I'm talking about, they they're actually telling you, they're actually telling you how they receive the car. And I put in my searches, either repossessions that it, it, it was uh, it was either a repossession, uh, theft, and another one, I forgot what it was. Like all of the ones I got, they run and drive. Like I'm not looking, I'm not looking at the one because they have them marked as, as transmission problem, engine problem at this place, not Copart. Copart don't do that. So now we're, I'm over here at a, at a mobile home park called Carriage Cove. And it's a place that I'm, that we've dealt with this lady before we tried to come over here and buy something and um she has one for sale that was well, somebody selling in here for five hundred dollars that i'm fixing to go look at she said it needs some siding or something so i don't really know how bad it is but she said it's on 16 coach house she said it's the last i think that's the last road so we're gonna look for a 16 coach house um they really ain't got nothing out here. She said on the 4th of October, though, they'll have more, so.
I'm not sure if anybody lives here or not. I'm saying I'm not sure if anybody lives here or not. I don't think nobody lives here. How bad is it? This cannot be there. This was this was the house that she said. You said sixteen oak house. Why? I wonder what they mean by neat siding. What? Cause I, I, like it's not, I don't, I don't, it's not, like the people still own it and that probably was them leaving. She said just drive by, but I mean, she just said I can't let you in. All right, YouTube, it's Vic and I'm out. Um, I got to take you along with me today on to the tow yard and I got to found a, a connect on some vehicles possibly. I'm gonna get back with y'all, let y'all know uh, on an update video on that to find out what kind of deal I did work out with the dude. Also, uh, y'all got to go along with me to look at a mobile home. I'm gonna also keep y'all up to date on that. If y'all wanna hear more about flipping mobile homes um, or even flipping houses, man, let me know in the comments and I'll get some of that content out. Um, but until next time, yeah, and if I forgot, please subscribe to the channel. Um, hit that bell notification if you want to see more videos so that every time I drop a video you you can see right right then when I drop the video so until next time man I'm out